Hello, my name is Daniel and I'm a nutritional therapist and today I'd like to discuss the importance of sleep. Now I know we've all heard over the years how important sleep is and that we should be getting our eight hours. But today I'd like to discuss why it's so important and how poor sleep can affect our health, our ability to achieve our goals, and I also want to talk about what we can do to improve our sleep quality. Adequate sleep is needed for cognitive, motor, and metabolic function, as well as energy conservation and cellular repair. We also see a restoration of glycogen stores and ATP in the brain during sleep. The first thing I want to discuss is how poor sleep can promote insulin resistance. So what is insulin? Well, our body produces insulin to signal our cells to take up glucose to use for energy. So what is insulin resistance, you might ask? Well, it's basically when our cells become resistant to insulin. And this causes our pancreas to pump out more of this hormone in order for our cells to be able to take up glucose. And what results is chronically elevated insulin levels. Now, insulin resistance is the major driver for the development of conditions like type 2 diabetes, polycystic ovarian syndrome, as well as chronic inflammation. As we can see from this study, a single night of sleep deprivation resulted in hepatic insulin resistance, as well as a reduction of insulin sensitivity in the peripheries. The next thing I want to talk about is recovery. Whether you're an athlete or just someone who likes to keep fit and active, sleep is essential for optimal recovery. This study demonstrates that sleep deprivation resulted in an increase of the pro-inflammatory cytokine interleukin-6, which may result in heightened pain, reduced muscle repair, as well as reduced recovery. Poor sleep can also have an impact on our performance. So if you want to make sure that you're getting the most out of your training sessions each day, then you need to ensure that you're getting enough sleep. This study measured the impact of sleep quality on MMA athletes during a training camp. They found a significant negative association between the time it takes to fall asleep and VO2 max, heart rate recovery, prowler sled push times, vertical jump, as well as missed training sessions. Poor sleep may also increase our stress levels. Stress can greatly impact our health as well as our quality of life. In everyday life, we encounter multiple stressors. So sleep should be restorative rather than adding to the burden. From this graph, we can see that reduced sleep was associated with higher stress awareness. Insufficient sleep has also been linked to weight gain, mood changes, difficulty concentrating, and suppressed immune function. So we can see how important it is to ensure that we're getting enough sleep in order to maintain optimal health, support our mood, and allow us to perform and recover from the challenges of life. So what are some common sleep disruptors? For starters, we have electronic devices, concerns over things like work, health, or finances, travel or work schedule, shift workers have an increased risk of accidents, diabetes, weight gain, heart disease, stroke, and cancer, eating too much before bed, Nocturnal hypoglycemia or low blood sugar waking you in the evening. Alcohol. Too much caffeine. Being a parent of young children. And not being exposed to daylight during the day can also disrupt your circadian rhythm. So what are some things that we can do to improve our sleep quality? Well, you can start with discontinuing the use of electronic devices two hours prior to sleep. Electronic devices emit a blue light which can potentially disrupt your sleep-wake cycle. It does this by mimicking the blue light that we normally receive from daylight, which may result in decreased melatonin production. Melatonin is a hormone produced by the pineal gland and it regulates our sleep-wake cycle. We can also incorporate an evening meditation routine. Meditation can activate the parasympathetic nervous system, allowing the body to enter a more relaxed state. If you're waking due to low blood sugar, eat a small, low glycemic snack one hour prior to sleep. Also avoid large meals prior to bed. Ensure your room is dark or use blackout curtains. Try incorporating an Epsom salt bath in the evening and make sure to get some daylight exposure during the day to help regulate your circadian rhythm. There are also some nutrients that you might find useful in improving sleep quality. First off, there's magnesium, which helps to regulate GABA. GABA is a neurotransmitter that assists the body in relaxing and falling asleep. Next, we have passion flower. Passion flower has also shown the ability to increase GABA in the brain. Next, there's ashwagandha, which has shown the ability to help promote sleep. Then there's B vitamins, 
folate, B6, and B12. These are cofactors required for the production of melatonin. Lastly, foods high in tryptophan, like turkey, fish, chicken, and eggs. Tryptophan is the precursor amino acid required for the production of melatonin. Well, that's it for me. Wishing you all a restful sleep. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe or follow, and I'll see you next time.